Hello and welcome back to this series about my graduation celebration. Today I'm going to be talking about my experience at the Bon Voyage breakfast. If you don't already know, the Bon Voyage breakfast is at the Trattoria Al Forno at the Boardwalk. It's an Italian restaurant and when I first told my dad I wanted to go there, he was confused because he was like, you want, you want to go to an Italian restaurant? No, I wanted to go to the Bon Voyage breakfast. So the Bon Voyage breakfast is a character breakfast. You get to see Flynn Rider and Rapunzel and Ariel and Prince Eric. Unlike other character breakfasts, it is not a buffet. It's ordering from a menu. So I ordered the Tangled Pancakes, which is a stack of pancakes with a powdered sugar sun on top and seasonal fruit. So right now it was apples and caramel sauce and they were delicious. Oh my goodness. My dad got the King Triton breakfast, which he said was basically like eating pizza for breakfast. It was like a calzone. And my mom got the tangled eggs. I don't know if it was because we were a table of three adults, um, but we had to ask to get a Bon Voyage adventure journal. Um, all of the other tables just had them on there. But we got that, and as you can see, then it's got uh, Rapunzel's little sun logo on there and Ariel's shell. And then there's a spot to put in your vacation dates and your name. And then the inside tells you to fill out the details of your adventure and when you open it all the way up it's a map of Walt Disney World with little questions to fill out about about your adventure. At the beginning of each breakfast period they announce a character one at a time to come through and then the characters make their way around to your tables. So the first character that came through for us was Flynn Rider and he made a comment about my graduation button and then um, we talked to him for a little bit. He was, it was a good character interaction with him. And then I got my picture with him and he smoldered as Flynn Rider does. I had really been hoping to see Rapunzel's crown because I know that Flynn Rider carries Rapunzel's crown in his satchel. And I was like, it's a special occasion. I've got my birthday buttons and my graduation buttons. Maybe he'll show me the crown. No, he did not. Next, we met Prince Eric. He liked our ears and said that he might get some for Max so that Max might listen better. Then Rapunzel came out. She asked me about what my dream was. I told her I had to find a new one because I had just graduated. And then we met Ariel. I wanted to do this breakfast because I love Tangled and getting to see Flynn and Rapunzel was a, a highlight for sure, like the main reason I was there but our server, Ali, was fantastic. He was really great and uh, after he noticed my buttons he asked how old I was and was asking about my graduation and everything and I and was telling me to come work for Disney and then he went back to the kitchen and returned with a tray of champagne for me and my parents. So he just added that extra magic for our trip that was really really nice. So if Tangled or The Little Mermaid are among your favorite Disney movies, I would say this is definitely a breakfast you'd enjoy. Um, and not only just to see the characters, but the food was so good. The pancakes were, oh my goodness, caramel apple pancakes? Th th so good. And everything is presented so pretty. You get fruit cups and pastries, which are delivered in a frying pan. and include a Tangled Sun cookie. Like everything is so on theme and cute and tasty and I totally recommend this breakfast. It's located on the boardwalk right next to Abracadabra and they're connected so we did get to look in Abracadabra a little bit and that was pretty neat. Um, even the bathrooms are cool because they're themed of course so it's like you're backstage and it the, the exit of the bathroom says to stage. So I thought that was really neat too. The, the mirrors are like vanities in a dressing room. I really, I, I love the theming. Are there any couples you'd like a character meal with that they don't currently offer at Walt Disney World? Let me know in the comments. And then if you'd like to see what I bought while I was in Disney World, go ahead and check out my Disney haul. I also have my A Celebration of Harry Potter haul and why I think the premium package is worth it for a celebration of Harry Potter so go ahead and check out those videos and if you would like to hear about my experience at Cinderella's Royal Table and 
being in the Magic Kingdom basically by ourselves. Go ahead and subscribe so that you don't miss when that video comes out, and I will see you next time.